All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, or Kakadash. Hi, right, Shalom, brothers and sisters in this truth. I'm your brother, Mr. LJ, coming to you again with another lesson. Lord willing, this will be edifying to those of you who are tuning in. And today I'm going to title this lesson, Desolation. The Most High Makes Good on His Word. And before I get started here with a short uh, video clip that I'm going to show you, I'm going to, op I'm going to open this up with Matthew 24 and 12, and it says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And as you can see today right now, we have mandates that's going out there from the federal level all the way down to the individual level uh, concerning taking this Maxine Waters. And also we see beginning tomorrow, uh, this moratorium ends and about 40 million people are about to be uh, impacted by this. Uh, we're going to go into some headlines that's going to show that they have actually done nothing with this and that this was actually a, sta uh, a stage event planned from a long time ago just for what they came up uh, it would be in the news this week. And as you can see, this was a very busy week with the news uh, as far as the mandates. And now you have the end of the moratorium and this is all going to smish smash together. OK, so let's go into this video and then we're going to go into uh, the book of Ecclesi Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 12. Roll. Close the roll and tabulate the vote. 13 eyes, two noes. And the, ordin the ordinance needed only eight votes to pass after failing to pass earlier this month. It bans encampments from being set up within 500 feet of schools, daycares, parks, and libraries. That list also includes overpasses, underpasses, freeway ramps, tunnels, bridges. The list goes on, leading to the question, well, where can people experiencing homelessness actually sleep then? That was the idea behind a large protest outside City Hall today that took place just before the vote on the ordinance. It was put on by homeless advocates who say that the city council continues to look at people experiencing homelessness as numbers, not as people. Some person jumps in front of you asking for change and it startles you. Take a, take a breath. Stop for a minute before you react to the situation. Treat this person like a human being. We need you to get in your communities, get to know your unhoused neighbors because they are your neighbors. They are a part of the community. Now, one thing the ordinance also does is that it's designed to actually minimize engagement between law enforcement and people who are homeless. It states that they must be offered interim or permanent housing. And so, as you can see there, what's going on here, and this is out in Los Angeles, California, um, where right now the, the mayor has come up with a decree stating that it's actually uh, criminal to be homeless. OK, so now you, they mentioned many of the things that the homeless can't be around the encampments underneath the bridge on the uh, over the overpath, the underpath of the highways, near the highways, off ramp, the train track, uh, and uh, near buildings of businesses. And now we also understand that these, 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 these places are where it's convenient for the homeless to be able to get access to maybe some water, maybe some food, or maybe some help, okay? Now, why, is it, why did they come up with this? Simply because this is the time of desolation that we are going to be seeing experiencing right now. And in particular, as you can see in the video there, who's really impacted by this? They started with the largest city here in California, which is Los Angeles, okay? And who lives there? Jake, a, lot of, a large so-called Hispanic population, a large and large so-called black population lives in Los Angeles. And this is going to start to go and spread across this nation, as you see right now with all these other mandates. So let's look at, look at that word desolation. And it says anguish, misery, and loneliness. And this is what is going to be coming right now. Okay. Misery, sadness, unhappiness. Okay. Gloom. All right. So let's go into the book of Ecclesiastics here. Uh, some of the worst when it says, when thou will do good, know to whom thou doest it, so shall thou be thanked for thy benefits. Do good to the godly man, and thou shalt find a recompense, and if not from him, yet from the Most High. There can be no good come to him that is always occupied in evil, nor to give, nor to him that giveth no alms. Okay, and a lot of our people are in this situation. Why? Um, if you remember yourself when you was out there in the world too, you was following a lot of the lifestyle of Esau. Okay, celebrating all those abominable holidays, wicked holidays, spending your money where you shouldn't be spending. Okay, eating and consuming food that you shouldn't be eating. Okay, being finessed by Esau. And see, this is what this is this this is what Esau does right here. Okay. Um, is he, he turns his back. So here it is right here, this group of people right here, never seen a day of hardship in their life, is making a decision for possibly millions of millions of people, okay, who's going to be impacted by this over the next week or so, 
Okay, continuing. Do well unto him that is lowly, but give not to the ungodly. Hold back the bread and give it not to him, lest he owe master thee thereby, for else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good that thou hast done unto him. We have given ourselves our body to Esau many times. All of us, we work for him. Okay, many of these people right here can't see, can't even understand the situation they're in because they can't believe that they're going to be thrown out of their house coming soon. Okay, and that's in part of the headline. So, I added this video clip here, piece here, to show you that right out here in California, they're about to throw millions of people who are already outside, okay, living outside encampments. They're going to tell them right now it's going to become criminal for you to continue to stay there. All right, and that's how that's the you see this devil is showing his horn right now, okay. Continuing, for the Most High hated sinners and will repay vengeance upon the ungodly and keep it them against the mighty day of their punishment. Give unto the good and help not the sinner. A friend cannot be known in prosperity and an enemy cannot be hidden in adversity. Okay, and this is adversity. See, look at this right here. Now I'm going to pause this video right here. Let's go and take a look at what it says here. Biden's last ditch effort to stop evictions frustrate allies. Okay, wait a minute. Wasn't he coming out on the, uh, uh, coming out uh, for the last couple of months there saying he was a friend to the Hispanics and the, and the, and the so-called blacks, okay, and Native Americans, okay, in this country? Hey, go take the jab. You know, I got your back. Wasn't he coming out and saying that? So how is it that he's thrown? How is this a friend if he's going to allow you to be thrown out? Now, if you read the article, it says that he was so busy and involved in, in this Delta variant and all that stuff. That's, that's bullshit. Because if you're a leader, you have all these other people, subordinates that are doing a lot of this work right there. That tells that you don't have any, you don't know how to, uh, um, you know, organize your workload, okay? Or what they call work, work breakdown structure. Really, you, you take, oh, you deal with the most important issue, okay? And we know that, we know that so-called COVID was not an important issue because there's no proof of it, all right? Continuing. And it says, never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusted so it's his wickedness okay when you're doing great when you when you're following with them if they can use you as you see they use the celebrities they use these celebrities to push out the job they they use these uh you know athletes you know to push out the job or they use you to come work for them to for slavery you know when we were enslaved and we build this nation up okay you know they they uh they, they smile in your face so they give you a little they give you a little chicken wing or something like that you know but, you know, we can't trust them because why? The past is catching up to them right there, okay? They've consistently stabbed us in the back all the doggone time and, and kept us in derision and at the low level, okay? Now, you can see in the headline, they're making it almost like this is something to do with Jake. And anytime they want to enter in act any type of policies in the United States, what do they do? They use Jake image, okay? As if they're trying to help Jake. The reality is that there's a lot of Edomite that is on welfare and actually needs and require itself. But they're going to use the image of Jake as if they're trying to do good for Jake, and you can see this all across the headline that's going across here in this country. This is about Esau. This is about Esau glorifying himself as if he's going to be doing some type of good, as if he's like the most high, okay? And it's also another distraction for more evil wickedness that they have planned to bring out uh, to the inhabitants here in Great Babylon, okay? Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust had not been altogether wiped away. Still wicked as hell, as wicked as before when we were in slavery. They're still wicked to this day, and they're about to get worse. Set him not by thee, lest when he had overthrown thee, which which they are uh, overthrown us, he stand up in thy place. Okay, they're the one claiming himself to be the children of the Most High when it's really us. Neither let him sit at the right hand, and lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therein. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such come nigh wild beast? Okay. So a lot of our people who are now in this situation are the same ones, you know, that would celebrate all the holidays, that held hand, you know. And this isn't even counting the people that decide that they may not want to go and take the jab. Because right now, what was the mandate that came out two days ago? Okay, as early as yesterday, they, they, they affirm that if you're in a federal employee, you have to take that jab. If you're uh, in these corporations, you're going to have to take that jab. Okay, city workers in California and New York, you're going to have to take that jab if you want to keep your if you want to keep your job. Okay, so 
right now you can see everybody who is trusting to the system is now being bitten by the serpent. Okay. Okay. And for us who are in this truth, we don't feel sorry. We don't, you know, we're not gonna feel sorry for you out there right now on the, on the, on the, on the, on the sidewalk. Okay. You, you know, you, you, why do you see, look at these guys. They're not, they're not, they're not, not one of them. I will use the word Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shai. No, one of them say, lift their hands up to the air and say, why don't we pray to the most high to, 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 to intervene on this. Okay. They're, they're going, but this, this, this is that, uh, Stockholm syndrome. They're going right back to the same man that, that put, that put us to debt all the time. It, it doesn't make any sense. You run into help for the man that rapes, robs, murders you daily for help. <laughs> okay. He just showed you he doesn't give a shit about you. He has other things in his mind. That's the reason why you're going to see this eviction now on who's going to be impacted. Millions and millions of Jakes is going to be out thrown out in the street. Okay? Millions. Okay? And that's why they're making it criminal because when you first become homeless, reality doesn't set in that this is your life right now. Okay? Reality doesn't set in. Okay? And they're going to be walking around and looking for these people who already been out there for years, you know, drug addicts, whatever the case is, or whoever the people who's been out there and adapt to it for help. But now you can't be accessed to that stuff. So you can learn to deal with smelling like shit, you know, because you haven't taken a bat in weeks or months. Your health is going to deteriorate, all kinds of stuff. And of course, you know, Esau is going to have a little solution to that called those FEMA camps, okay? Because people start going crazy, all right? And they pretend like, as if they're trying to prevent that. But they're not trying to prevent that. This is exactly what they came with. That's the reason why this week coincide with that hard mandate stance that he came up with, you know, at the same time this moratorium was going to end. I want you to think about it, okay? I want you to think about that, right? Let's continue on. So, so one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sin, who will pity? We're not going to pity you, Okay? For a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. Meaning what? He's not going to stick to hell around, man. Okay? That word tarry means is that they're going to be gone. Gone. Not going to stick around. Okay? An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagined how to throw thee into a pit. He will wipe, weep with his eyes, but if he found opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first, and thou, and though he pretend to help thee, yet he shall he undermine thee. He will shake his head and clap his hand and whisper much and change his countenance. And you've seen that countenance is going to be getting changed right now. They've already sat down, okay? That's the last thing they're going to do, and they're going to go home for the evening to their nice, to their nice warm place, okay? But don't worry. You know, as many of the brothers and the elders and the prophets put out there, okay, Esau has his coming too, okay? And there's lessons for that. And there's lessons that's been out there for that, okay? Esau has his coming too, all right? Um, so right now, they're on top. We are people right now about to go through the desolation, okay? A tribulation is coming and it's already here upon us and it's about to get even worse. And this old school, sign up there with a picket sign right there begging your evil, wicked slave master to come and save you does not work. And it's not going to work. This is the judgment come from me. How about shame me? How about shy? And those of those of those of those of us who he do not deem worthy and fit to continue to live or to see his kingdom when he returns and put this place down, uh, it's going to catch. It's going to be in the midst of this to catch hell. Okay, we all going to be tried. We all going to be tried. So, Lord willing, you were edified with this. Um, I know it was short, um, but for the time's sake of, you know, keeping the attention span of the uh, listeners here, um, I'd like to end it here. I'd like to give all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakal Kadash. I'd like to give a double shout out to the elders and teachers and prophets at Great Millstone and to the brothers who are putting out the truth every day. And to you, brothers and sisters that are tuning in, Shalom.